Hi, I'm Derek from Good Times Marine. It's a pretty average day here in Sydney today, but it's a perfect sort of day to go and test the Hain Signature 485 SF. It's a great little boat, comes in at under a thousand kilos on a trailer and is loaded with storage features. An absolutely perfect fishing gun boat. So let's get out in the Botany Bay. Hopefully there's a bit of a chop to, to push this boat through and, uh, and see the features that are available in the 485 SF. So a lot of people may have heard of the 485 SF being known as the Lego boat. It's probably the best way to describe it. The boat came originally as just a hull. None of this extra stuff in here at all. So you basically went off a list, a huge list of options, and all those options basically went into the hull like Lego. So what Haynes have done recently is actually look at the most common 485 SF combinations with options that have gone out, and then made it a lot easier for the buyer uh, to get a boat which is pretty much ready to go from the get-go. So let's have a look at this package here. This is pretty much stock standard for the side console package that Haynes have done and uh, see all the goodies that come in this little boat. In the bow we've got the bow mount plate standard and it's not just a bow mount plate they put on this, this boat's actually pre-wired for an electric motor. The way the boat is put together it needs to be pre-wired if you're going to put an electric motor in this boat and uh, that's all in place in this model cleat with the anchor well at the front. Now this casting deck area here, originally you'd have to order two sections to get it in this boat. Now being standard in here, you've got the big casting deck, huge amount of storage in the front here, which you use as your general storage locker. And in this kill tank, it's nearly a meter long. It's a very, very, very big kill tank area. Certainly no problems in filling that with fish. Coming further back, you've got this big area in the side console, you've got this massive big kill tank in here as well. Now, if you're going to get a centre console, this area here is filled up because of the console to fit in place in the boat. But in a side console, it opens this up to give you additional kill tank storage. Underfloor fuel tank is standard in the boat. Now, it's 120 litres. So, it's a huge amount of, of fuel for a boat of this size. We're pushing the boat with a 75. It will hold up to a 100. I wouldn't go under a 75, it will go along okay with a 60, but pretty boring to be honest with you. This particular boat with a 75, your max horsepower is around 60k, so we're hitting that, that magical 60 km an hour mark. This was cruising at around 4,000 revs at 45 km an hour, and I found that really comfortable just with this little bit of wind chop we've got out in the bay today. It was just a really nice comfortable speed to, uh, to be out enjoying the boat. Moving to the back of the boat, we've got the rear casting deck insert, um, standard now. Now you've got two anchor, two battery storage areas either side of the back. You've got a little cutting board that folds out as well on the rear, uh, rear cast deck and then your plumb live bait tank right in the middle there as well. And that's quite a generous size. So this boat's got a lot of gear that comes standard in the boat, but as always, the Haynes have got a few more options up their sleeve if you want to add to them as well. So that's the kind of thing where you come down to us, have a look at the boat, and if you think there's a few things lacking, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to find any extra bits you're wanting to add into this package. The boat comes standard with these two seats. Now they fold down, got a little storage patch at the back, quite comfortable. Um, it only comes standard with the two seat bases. Some people ask about being able to have a, a seat pushing further forward. That is available uh, by request as an option. This particular package comes standard with mechanical non-feedback steering. Now, a lot of people would say because it's a 4.8 meter boat, you have to have hydraulic steering. For me personally, I found the steering on this really, really light. I was driving with one hand on the, on the wheel, one hand on the throttle, throwing into a few turns. Sure, it's a slightly stiffer feel, but it was definitely in no way uh, a difficult boat to steer. So if you don't want to throw the, the extra 1500 bucks at, at hydraulic steering, the mechanical steering was more than fine uh, with this setup, with this horsepower. The 485 SF is built with a process called Reval, which is resin injected, vacuum assisted, low emission construction. So what that means is the boat's very in environmentally friendly in the way it's constructed, but it's also a very, very true balance of resin to the fiberglass mesh that goes in the layup of the hull. So it allows the boat to be as good a quality as you could possibly get in a fiberglass construction process. The 485 SF has a unique hull with a curved keel line. A lot of people would think this boat would be unstable at rest and very sloppy in the corners from that. But I can tell you, the thing hangs on like it's on rails. It's a very, very enjoyable boat to own. 
So even if you are going out for a fish, getting out there to the spot is going to be probably as much fun as the actual fishing aspect if you really truly love boats. I think you'll find the 485 SF has so much to offer and if you're in the market for an aluminium side console, you definitely need to put the 485 SF on the shopping list because based on its weight, its storage sizing and the value to purchase a boat, it really is an incredible package and well worth the look. Come down, check us out at Good Times Marine. We'd love to show you the 485 SF and give you some reasons why it should be on the shopping list for your new boat.